Hi guys, I've had some feedback on some of my rubber band powered aeroplanes that people are having problems following the video where I bend up a paper clip to make the little bearing for the propeller. So I'll see if I can do it slowly and I'll attach it to this barbecue skewer. I might even make another little styrofoam plane with this as the fuselage. But the important bit will be how to bend up the paper clip to make the little bearing surface and propeller attachment. So first of all I'm going to straighten out this paper clip as far as I can. It doesn't need to be perfectly straight, it's just easier if it's reasonably straight to begin with. This particular paper clip has got a plastic coating to it which we don't need. So I'll strip that off. OK, so there's our paper clip. We need a piece of fairly hard plastic tubing. This particular piece comes from one of those soap dispensers that has a pump on top. And that's the tube that goes down to the bottom that the soap goes up through. It just happens to be reasonably hard. We need a length, let's say an inch long. need to wrap the paper clip round it to support it. I've done it several different ways in different videos, so I'll try a different way this time. We'll start off with it something like that, and it's got to bend around so it's going to grip onto the tube one trick you can do is use something hot to just melt the end of the tube into a mushroom shape then it can't slide through the gap. So I'll go and I think I'll turn my soldering iron on. That should do just to melt the end a bit. While I'm waiting for my soldering iron to warm up I'm just bending the paper clip round the plastic a bit more. Now, if you find it's crushing the tube, you may want to put another paper clip through the middle, because that's what's going to be the shaft of the propeller. Right, so I've got another paper clip going through the tube just to make sure it doesn't get crushed too much. Still nice and loose in there. Using my soldering iron, anything hot that's hot enough to melt the plastic will do. We just want to sort of push it back like that. Make sure that goes through. That's just to stop it sliding through. Do the same at the other end. So 
so that should stop it sliding through when the propeller is pushing against it. And we're going to put a plastic bead on it anyway. That's probably a bit bigger than you really need. That's for the propeller to rub against. So, in essence, that's it. What we now need is a propeller on this end and a hook on the other end for the rubber band to go round. And then this piece we need to attach to the fuselage of your aeroplane, which in my case is this barbecue skewer. One thing you'll want to make sure, see that's come out at quite an angle, that's not going to be what you want. You're going to want that slightly different. Now you can either just bend the wire until you get it right, or you could put some bends in it here. Now this may or may not be strong enough for your rubber bands. If it flexes about too much, then you'll have to fill the gap with some wood or plastic or something so it doesn't flex around. But I'm going to leave it just like that for now. Just move it up to the end of it. I'll think about making a propeller to go with it, I suppose. Oh, because you need a hook at the other end to hold the other end of the rubber band. 